Thank you for joining all of our stakeholders uh, for an opportunity to share an important announcement on the launch of the, bio, of the Partnership Biotechnology Initiatives. Today's launch um, is about um, a partnership with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation um, involving uh, more than 100 million uh, rand uh, that will come to uh, X3D at UCT to develop uh, new drugs for malaria and TB. Uh, we have a, a team that does a very thorough analysis of how we can make every single dollar count as much as possible by investing with the very best people we can. And this is in the area of three priorities that we have around HIV AIDS, malaria and tuberculosis. So their evaluation was that the very best investment that we could make with this, this money was to invest it in the MRC and UCT enterprise. And you know, I, I see every evidence that that money is going to be highly effectively deployed. If we use Kelly at Chibali, the H3D Center as an example, they have a number of different projects at different stages. Uh, TB, interesting compounds, but not really drugs yet. Uh, malaria, the same. And it needs that funding to make batches of compounds to, for, for toxicology testing, to pay for um, pharmacology, to pay for preclinical development. And that's the sort of space that we are looking to fill, to take inventions like a potential drug to a drug stage. Uh, that's exactly where we fit in. We're not funding the, the chemistry behind uh, SOAP. We are, as a university, incredibly proud to be associated with these strategic partnerships. Um, we are even prouder of the fact that uh, the scientists leave leading um, the work under this partnership will be coming from Africa and will be working out of Africa. We believe that our partnership uh, with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and uh, the MRC and uh, the government departments that uh, are uh, participating is, is something that will help us develop African solutions or African generated solutions for African problems. It is extremely important um, that this research is happening in Africa, being led by Africans, of course in partnership with uh, other people. Um, and I think it, it's very important for me uh, for two main reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, there is a perception that Africa is, is only a place where you do clinical trials. You know, it's like a place where you just use patients. And people don't think about uh, Africa as a source of innovation. And I think this is a very significant and, and a very big statement uh, that, you know, given the right environment and support and, and talent, that we can innovate. And I think it's important for Africa to innovate and, and not just to um, be relying on external partners to, to, to solve their own problems.